Replacing a 60-year-old bridge and expanding access to not only pedestrians, but bicyclists. Yeah, that is the hope of Henrico County leaders for a proposed project along Scott Road where it crosses over I-95. Brendan King joins us live to go in depth on how the plan and how it could be a first of its kind bridge in the continental U.S. Brendan. Yeah, that's right, Robin Riva. Good morning to you. You may have also noticed while driving around in Rico County, there is an intentional effort right now to get pedestrians and bicyclists off the roads and safely onto sidewalks and trails. This project could also transform this growing area. So take a closer look. I found out this week that the Scott Road Bridge was built in 1962 and it's actually too low. It stands at 14 and a half feet when current regulations require at least 16 and a half feet. I'm told several trucks hit the bridge every year. This is located just in north, north of Parham Road, south of the 295-95 interchange. The $20 million project was also designed in part with the upcoming Green City project and to help control traffic in nearby neighborhoods. It'll become obsolete once the Magellan Parkway Bridge over 95 is complete in about three years. Henrico County Public Works Director Terrell Hughes and his team are hoping to receive federal grant money from the RAISE grant program aimed at rebuilding America's infrastructure. And like you just mentioned, if they do receive the money, they're considering building the bridge with something called glue laminated wood. Right now we're, we're actually uh, investigating the idea of potentially making this a glue laminate bridge, which would be a wood structure versus what we typically do, which would either be steel or concrete. So we're, we're looking at that. Uh, it's very popular overseas, uh, especially for pedestrian bridges over in Europe. Yeah, we're talking about glue laminated material that's spelled GLU. It's just as strong as steel and actually lasts longer. Robin Reba Hughes tells me he hopes to hear back from the federal government about all that grant money in August. That's interesting to hear about that bridge. Uh -huh. All right, Brendan King reporting live for us.